Welcome back into another episode of the Huskers Radio Network podcast. I'm Jessica Cootie, and we have started a series this summer getting to know the newcomers of Nebraska athletics with basketball and now volleyball. And so for today, we're going to get to know a little bit better Harper Murray, the freshman out of Ann Arbor, Michigan. Harper, thanks for stopping by. Thank you for having me. How is Lincoln treating you? I love it here. Um, it's a little different than where I'm from, but I've been here since January, and the team is really welcoming. Love the coaches, love the fan base, so it's been really good. What's the, the summer look like for you guys? What are, what are some of the things that you guys are hoping to get accomplished this summer? So we just started our workouts about a week and a half ago. Um, we have those in the morning and then open gyms. And then um, starting in July, we have camps. So we're, I think we're going to work out in the mornings, work camps, do all that type of stuff. Um, and then I believe we start August 7th, maybe. We start training, so we're looking forward to it. Dream camp, right, mm -hmm. is the big one. Did you go to that? I did. I went in eighth grade, and then um, my freshman and sophomore year was kind of COVID, so I didn't end up going, but I went my eighth grade year. It seems like a lot of people that we talk to say that a lot of times their decision came after they came to that. What is that? What's so special about that camp? So I was being recruited in eighth grade, and after that camp, I ended up, like, uh, getting a couple more offers, talking to more coaches, but I think that coming here just makes you realize how much they prioritize like the women's volleyball and the women's sports. Um, and a couple of my friends have committed here for 2024, so I'm super excited for all of them. And I think it's a great experience going to the camp. You really see how much Lincoln cares about you and the team. Which was a big part of your decision to want to come here. You're from Ann Arbor. Yeah. Uh, your sister plays at Michigan. Yeah. Your dad played at Michigan. Yeah. And you ended up at Nebraska. But mm -hmm. we, we were chatting before we started recording. That, yeah. that meant a lot to you that this was a volleyball school. Yeah, it did. Um, I think you can kind of get stuck with, like, the atmosphere with football and basketball and all that stuff. But I think me and my teammates talk about it all the time. Like, the fan base really supports the women's sports here. And... I don't really think it's like any other school, and I haven't seen a school that supported women's sports that much, especially in the volleyball world. So I think it's important for volleyball to expand as well. So that was really something that I looked into when I got here. So then you had to be pretty pumped when you heard you are playing a uh, volleyball game inside Memorial Stadium and then yeah. that you are going to be playing in front of 90,000-plus fans. Yeah. Uh, me and my teammates were at Lyft this morning, and we walked in the stadium. We were like, we're literally about to play in front of this whole stadium. So... Um, a lot of my friends from home have asked me about it. They've wanted to come, and my family friends have talked about it. So, I mean, no other school gets to experience that. So I think it's really special. Very cool. Well, the Gatorade National Player mm -hmm. of the Year. Tell us about that. How, when you got that news, how special yeah. was that? Um, so I actually found out the day before I left for here, and it was a really long day. I ended up finding out at my high school. My mom had told me to come in, and I had to, like, pick up a banner or something. I don't know. It was some lie. But... Um, I walked in and I found out and all my family and friends were there. It was a really cool day. It was a busy day. We had a lot of like media stuff to do, but I'm super excited. And I'm um, going to L.A. in July for the ESPYs as a result of that. So That's awesome. Yeah. You have your dress all picked out, outfit? I was just dressing about this last night. Um, <laughs> but, I, yeah, I have a couple of dresses that I'm deciding between. But to be the, the best player, the National Gatorade Player of the Year, I mean, how special was it to hear that, that announcement? I mean, it was a, an award that I had been looking at for a while. Um, one of my sister's old teammates had actually won it from Michigan, and um, I was pretty close with her, and I knew that was something that I wanted to do when I saw her win it. So um, kudos to my coaches, though, for helping me and my mom for supporting me through all that. You talked to your sister. We just mentioned she played at Michigan. Yeah. How big a role did she play in, in kind of, I guess, you know, a lot of sisters uh, look up to their older yeah. sister and kind of paving the way for you? Uh, she was the one that got me into volleyball. We used to have a sand court in our backyard at home, and we would go and play all the time. So I would say she got me into the sport, and um, I remember being like that little girl on the sidelines at convention centers that would get yelled at by the refs to like stop playing because um, I'd be watching her games. But um, it's really cool that I'm going to get to play against her, and um, if she uses her COVID year, it'll be for two years. So it's super exciting, and it's something I'm looking forward to, but um, I know there will probably be a lot of hype around it, but it's, it's going to be a fun day. And she wears 27, she right? Does. And you're planning on wearing 27. Yeah. And there's a special story behind that. Yeah. Can you tell us about it? So my dad's number when he played at Michigan was 27. And as many people know, he ended up dying when I was younger. But um, 27 was a number that me and my sister always wanted to wear when we were older. And I think that we both got the opportunity to wear it at the schools we're at. Um, so I just think it's, it's just a reminder of why we play. And why like we care so much about what we do 
what does that mean you get to carry on his legacy? Yeah, I mean, um, I think it means a lot to my mom, too, for her to see that. And I have an older brother. I don't know if a lot of people know that, but he plays basketball at a smaller school in Michigan, and he wears a number two. So um, it's a family thing, I guess. But, I mean, it means a lot to us, and just carrying it on for him. What do you think your dad would have said if, with you picking Nebraska? I feel like he would have given me a hard time <laughs> for a little bit. <laughs> um, but I think he'd be happy for me, and I think he'd be at every game if he could. I was just, I mean, knowing what he did as a, a <laughs> collegiate athlete, did that push you guys too as athletes? Yeah. I think that having it kind of in your genes is a little start for us, but I think that um, having my older brother and my older sister be good athletes as well helped me and helped me push through that. I read a quote somewhere where you said that you always knew it was going to be Nebraska, even though all the ties to Michigan, but mm -hmm. that you always knew. What was it that you always knew? So, uh, like I said earlier, I recruited, they recruited me in like eighth grade. Um, and Jalen and John and Kelly, I've known for a couple years now. And I think that when I came here for Dream Team Camp, that's when it really set in. And obviously, there were other schools that I looked at. But I think deep down, like, if you, were, if you really knew what I wanted in a couple years, like, I think most people knew I wanted to come here. And I think I knew that too. But at first, it's hard to, when you're getting all those offers and getting all that attention, I think it's hard to have a clear mind sometimes. And I struggled with that during my recruiting process a little bit. But um, deep down, I did know I wanted to be here. Very cool. A lot of these freshmen, you guys knew each other and played together mm -hmm. before with uh, Team USA. Mm -hmm. What's that like when you are, kind of already have that built, even? Yeah. You've already played together. Yeah. So we played together, uh, I believe, my sophomore and junior year. And I played with Laney and Bergen the most. Andy got added on the past year. Um, playing with them, I think makes it a little bit more exciting here just because we have that connection and especially with Bergen as a setter like that's super important and she does a great job of connecting with all of us but I think that we've had two years to do it extra helps mm -hmm. a little bit here and I think the coaches can see that at some points um, but playing with them and then getting to do it at the Under Armour game that we went to in December and doing it for the USA team was really cool and I think that it's gonna take us pretty far in the future. How much does it, I guess, reflect in that yeah. chemistry between a setter and a hitter that you have played and you mm -hmm. do have that time together? I mean, is that, you can feel that, I'm sure, yeah. the more you play together? Aside from on the court, Bergen is one of my best friends off the court as well. So I think you can all kind of feel it on the court just when you have that extra bit of trust. It makes a big difference. So she's when you know the best. So mm -hmm. uh, tell us about her. What, what makes her so special as a setter? Uh, the only, the thing that comes to my head would be that she's just very intelligent and I think that you can watch her play and her demeanor is a lot calmer than other people on the court, but I think that that's kind of what sets her aside from it because you need someone who's going to take charge, but stay calm and know that they're there for you. And that's exactly what Bergen is. I know you have goals for playing yeah. for Team USA and continuing to play for yeah. Team USA. So what was your reaction when you found out Jordan Larson was going to be joining the coaching staff? Um, <laughs> oh God. um, I got pretty emotional just because Jordan is another big reason why I came here. She is someone that I've looked up to since I was probably in middle school. So um, finding out that she was going to be a coach here for my time here is, it was really special. And um, I think me and a couple other players kind of got emotional because it was kind of unexpected. But um, it's going to be really cool. And I talk to her a lot. And that's kind of weird to say now because before she didn't really know who I was. And now she's <laughs> one of my coaches. But... Um, I'm super excited, and I think she'll be back here in August. Coach Larson, is that you calling her Coach Larson? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Jordan makes it, I don't know, Jordan might be how we go about that. But to have somebody that's, I mean, the best and has done it and mm -hmm. won gold medal, I mean, yeah. how motivating is it as a player to now yeah. have someone that day in and day out is, yeah. you're going to be able to work with? I think Coach uses her as an example really well just because she is someone that has done it before and has gone through what we're going through right now. Um, I think having her in the gym, not even as a coach, but just have her presence be there, I think it brings up the level of play already just because having someone that's gone through all of that before and is doing it currently still, I think it just makes such a big difference. And I think it's going to really p help us this season. It's awesome. Yeah. You're someone that we've heard from the start that has been able to come in and, and really kind of stood out and make an immediate impact. What was your approach to that to be able to get in here and kind of make your mark early on? The coaches have kind of instilled confidence in me since I've been here and before I got here. So having that extra bit of confidence and know that they believe in me too is going to help us a lot. And I think we are a really young team this year, but I mean, coach says it all the time that volleyball doesn't know how old you are. And I think that that's going to be something that sticks with, us, sticks with us this season just because like 
there are teams that are going to be more experienced and bigger and stronger and older. So um, I think that just having the confidence and knowing that the coaches have our backs is going to really help us. And that helps me the most, I feel like. No seniors. No. And, you know, captains were just announced, mm -hmm. too, with Lexi and Merritt. And so yeah. tell us about that and, and why you guys feel like they, they'd be great leaders for this team. Merritt is one of, like, the most genuine people I've ever met. She's such a special person, and I, we're really lucky to have her. And I think that plus Lexi's experience in the Big Ten and as a starting freshman for two years, I think that them two as our captains are, is going to take us very far just because they're both very, very intelligent and they're genuine and they know what we need to do. Being that everything that you just mentioned about mm -hmm. the newcomers and then the people that are coming back, how do you feel like the chemistry and just the, the bonding has gone for this team so far before you guys do hit the court for preseason? Yeah. I think that there's a lot of new people this year, obviously. Like, there's six of us. So um, it takes time for relationships to adjust, but I think that this team does a really good job of starting those relationships out early and getting those bonds going just because that is important on the court as well. What do you need to do leading up to the next couple of months to mm -hmm. be able to maybe come in and make an immediate impact mm -hmm. for the team this season? My personal goal is just to get stronger and continue to just find my rhythm with playing. And I think that uh, that's kind of what we need this year. And um, I'm hoping that I can step into that role. Awesome. Can't wait for it. Harper Murray, appreciate your time. Thanks for uh, spending Thank some time with us. Thank you. And that is Harper Murray with Nebraska Volleyball Freshman out of Ann Arbor, Michigan. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Huskers Radio Network podcast.